from the roof at the Case Center in Boston. It's Patriot League men's basketball. Tonight, the Boston University Terriers host the Lafayette College Leopards. Serves one. Yeah. That was a great pass, and because Malcolm took an extra couple of steps and fakes, he's going to lose out on that. But that is a point guard creating for, for his big. Fulton keeps the ball moving. Sonberg wow. drills the three. Hey. True with Fran O'Hanlon coaching. It's true with Mike Jordan coaching. As Kalen Jones rips a three, his first of the game, the second three for BU. And, and we'll the action as again, the first block by Otto Landrum, and then they were able to rotate the basketball. Largest lead of the night for Lafayette, but it doesn't last long as Damon Tate is on the scoreboard. Yeah. Pettit gives it up near steal for Harper. Sonberg will try another three, and Lafayette retakes the lead. It's been a two. Jenkins gives it up. Fulton in traffic. The open man, Sonberg, and he hits another three. That's 15 points and roll so you know Joe Jones just said at halftime that really it was the mistakes they were making defensively that he was really frustrated with offensively he understood rotations are going to be different Damon Tate drilling the three from the wow. left wing that you get that shot you get the miss and then you can't get the stop overall Brewster with the kick out pass and EBW hits the triple couldn't find the open man the Terriers get a hand on it EBW to Jonas Harper and that's a big three right there Sonberg for three. He just keeps cooking. Sonberg now with 18 points yeah. in this one. All right, BU down by two. Ethan Britton Watts has a step on Sonberg and he ties the game with 12 seconds to go. He picked up his third right now here in overtime. And there is the first Lafayette point in five minutes and six seconds of clock time. 52, and the Terriers were able to score those 10 points, still with what, it was 12 seconds for a line. First free throw attempts of the night for Miles Brewster. How about that with 4.14 to go in overtime? Led by Ethan Britton Watts, he's got 15. Fletcher Tynan with 13. Pitches on him, the shot clock winding down. Jenkins drills the jumper. That's a two-pointer from the wing. Yeah, just. There doesn't seem to be anything to the idea of overtime momentum based on which team comes from behind. Did. Devin Hines hits wow. the three. Are those his first points of the night? They are. Fresh legs out there. Played very little this season, and EBW ties it again with the drive, this time with the left hand. Wow. Off by TJ Berger, ahead of the field, Brewster! BU up by two! Test. The first one good for Ethan, the second. And there you go, a four point lead. Coach, you're without one of your key players, Leo O'Boyle. How has your team been able to stay in tonight's game so far? Um. You know, they all work very hard in practice, and uh, it's the next man up mentality, you know? And I think a lot of them want to win this one for Leo. And how has Eric Songram really impressed you tonight, being the leading scorer with 12 points? Yeah, Eric's a really good shooter. So you have to respect that, and that opens up opportunities for him to drive. Um, and he's just making shots. Uh, we got to get him to play a little bit more defense, but, you know, offensively, he's been, he's been helping us out a lot. Thanks, Coach. Welcome to The Roof. I'm Caitlin Gelhouse alongside Coach Corbin. Coach, congratulations on the overtime win. What did you think of your team's play tonight? I thought it showed a lot of character, a lot of heart. Um, you know, Coach was very demanding of them at, 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 uh, at, at halftime, telling me exactly what we needed to do. And, you know, they stepped up. Somebody's living right. <laughs> it's not me, but somebody's living right. We had a good victory. And just looking forward, you have Sunday at 2 against American. How are you best preparing for that game? getting as much rest as we can. So uh, hopefully tomorrow we come in and watch film and clean up some things that we didn't uh, do very well on both ends of the floor offensively and defensively, and then look at Americans, start to, di uh, to dissect what they're going to look to do offensively and put the game plan in, then Friday or uh, next couple days practice and go look to go, to go to battle. All right, thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm Caitlin Gelhouse here at The Roof after a really thrilling overtime win. Congratulations, Fletcher. I'm here with Fletcher Tynan, and you had 13 points and 10 rebounds. How does it feel to accomplish not only that, but then the team win? 
I mean, honestly to me, the win is more than the double-double. Uh, it is my first double-double, so that's a little cool, but at the same time, I'm just glad the team fought through everything. I mean, we were down. We just kept fighting, and at the end, kind of prevailed, and that's what I like to see out of the guys. And looking into the future, you are up against American on Sunday. Mm -hmm. How are you going to take this high energy into that game on Sunday? Just, just got to keep rolling, rolling with the shots, rolling with our defense. I think we really played great defense down the stretch, um, especially in the overtime. The guys stepped up, especially when guys were out. But um, American's a good team, and they'll give us a fight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Caitlin Galhouse here at the Roof with a final overtime score, 73-69. to 69. You can catch Doug and Brian as they travel to American on Sunday. They'll be on at 1.45 p.m. at GoTerriers.com. Thanks for tuning in.